Nigerian home. That's who we are. Sorry, I thought I was from an American home. Ah, ah so you forgot your roots. Ah, this thing is already recording. <laughs> you forgot your roots. Or are you trying to deny your roots? How will I ever deny my roots when my mother's name is Ruth? Ah. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back to our YouTube channel! After yeah, happy, back. happy New Year, Happy New Merry Month! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry, <laughs> Merry Christmas! Happy Valentine! Yeah, uh, you know, uh, I mean, happy all of it! Yeah. Um, we we'll just go straight to the point. No need to beg. <laughs> no need to say sorry because we are the worst. Yeah, because <laughs> if we apologize now, we have to go to apologize again. We are the worst, so no need. We are still going to do it. Anyways, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yep. My name is Makile Togunlano. And I'm Olumide Ogunlano, aka Saint Mimi. Never forget the ganja. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so we are back. <laughs> Ish. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Kind so, of. And literally, we cannot I promise. To, I had to put my YouTube planning book right beside my bed so I can remember every week that we need to shoot a video. See, the problem is, I think she underestimated what teaching in the UK really entails, and then she just thought that oh, I will have time, I will have time, I will have time, and then she started the job, and then she has been like, what? Oh my God. <laughs> she has been like, what? If I say the word overwhelming, it might sound like I'm exaggerating, but yeah. I'm not even lying. The job is overwhelming however it is what i want to do is what i like to do and i am happy doing my job i was speaking to my friend yesterday and she said i sound fulfilled and i love that word i'm fulfilled i'm content i'm up i'm in a great space yeah. so yeah anyways this video we wanted to it's going to be a very short yeah one. it's going to be a short one yeah. i i well in 2024 going to be five years married and you know that thing where you're hit, hitting a milestone in quotes mm -hmm. and it just feels like you start thinking about you know the little things and how you've gotten to where you've gotten to and things like that so i said to him i want to make a video on the simple joys of our marriage putting me on the spot I want to make a video on the simple joys of our marriage not anything grand what makes our marriage joyful the simple things and i really mean simple so we're not going to be talking about oh you bought me a car or you know you gave me one million or something like actually just those little everyday things that we tend to miss out that we tend to feel like you know they are not significant but those things that what makes your marriage joyful you don't think about them in a grand scale you don't realize that they are happening they're happening because they're just again so little so simple but in the scheme of things they are what makes your marriage work and what keeps a marriage happy so i said to him i wanted to make a video about the simple joys of our marriage what are the simple things that make me happy so i asked him to think about it i don't know what he's going to say when I even make him happy, I thought, God, I beg. <laughs> <laughs> because nothing I'll ever hear for this house. No, the pro I've been thinking about it, yeah. Anyways, while we are making the video, again, we're in our kitchen today because we are not eating. Today is Saturday. And I'm about to cook. Today is Saturday. I'm the one in charge of food. I'm a, uh, wait, yes. I'm, a, I'm the one in charge of feeding every weekend. He yeah. cooks every week. I'll talk about that more. But yeah, anyways, this is what we're eating today. If you know me, you know I'm a Korean fanatic. I'm a K-pop everything. Save me, save me, people, <laughs> save me. I'm a K-pop everything. BTS, K-drama, everything. Cry for help. So, why are you crying for help? Just are you alright? Anyways, when it comes to K-drama, I'm on today. Crying for help. And this is all I eat today. You want to say something? Yeah. Um, so I was, I was going to say, um, at the end of the day, it, it doesn't have to be something really. I mean, the joy of our marriage doesn't things that we share doesn't it doesn't really have to be like you said it doesn't have to be really um, 
how will I put it? I'm looking for that word. Like something you can really see. It doesn't yeah. have to be like so it's there are subconscious things, yeah? That happen. Subconscious things that happen. Day day. Should yeah. I so should I start? Go on. Okay, I, I think the first thing I will say is the first thing, the first little thing that in our marriage that really excites me a lot is our sense of humor. Ooh. And the way you catch my jokes at every single point in time. And then the way you crack your jokes too. I think it, it just really gets me and then I just smile. I think one other thing I will say, or should we do one after the other? Okay. Uh, yeah, so yours. I never knew I made you laugh. So I make yeah. you laugh. Is that yeah, what you mean? A lot. Oh, that's, lot. that's you good. You make me laugh a lot. That's good to hear. Effortlessly too. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I like, I like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so the first thing I think that really gets me is how just his attention to details is it's ridiculous his attention to details is insane in this house like i may not know how much maggi i have left but only they knows maggi has finished <laughs> 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 his attention to details for the littlest of things even things i don't know and like i honestly cannot remember like everything now because like i said it just happens but his attention to details about the littlest of things gets me. And it's that thing where he completes whatever I'm lacking for me. And it just goes well because I don't really bad on me. I don't really need to see anything that is happening in his house. I don't see anything about <laughs> anybody. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's good to have his level of attention to details. Yeah, so when I was thinking about these things, it was, it was a little hard for me because I, mm. I tend to be very self sufficient that's like, a good word yes yeah i but then instilling my self-sufficiency i could find i could see that she plays a really vital role in my life do i because when i told this guy that i want to do simple joys in our marriage you know what he said to me eh you you know they do anything to make me happy now nah. everything you, you, everything you, 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 you see that you see that right there is another reason why is another simple joy in our marriage she's so easy to wind up i know how to wind up so easy and then <laughs> it just gives me a lot of joy to see her wound up over the little you ruined my day <laughs> no, I'm not going around going, oh. no so i'm not making this boy happy oh. <laughs> so what has he been doing for five years yeah so oh. she, she was really triggered that night and she was like i think she was thinking about her life and she was saying but that really makes me happy sometimes because it just, I mean, at the end of the day, littlest things that she does as well. Like, if I'm too peaceful in the house, she comes <laughs> to look for my trouble. And then she says this exact statement, you are too peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> and best. she does it every time. It's always too peaceful. You just be lying down, you know, silent. Why? When I'm awake, you are just happy. Why are you I'm, lying down I'm silent? Just, Boxing in the moment. In which moment? Which moment? <laughs> <is> the <basket? laughs> Anyways, another thing that he does that really makes me happy, and not just him doing it. Another thing that happens in our marriage that really makes me feel, you know, really happy is, you know how when you're, when I was single, like if I have bad dream, I'll just wake up and maybe I'll just be scared. I will not be able to sleep back. But like if I have a nightmare and he's right beside me, again, just having him right beside me is another little thing. If, and he's right beside me and I just immediately I say, baby, I had a nightmare. Before I even ask, only they prays for me. Immediately. Before he even knows what the nightmare was about, he just prays for me and he just I sleep back peacefully. So I like the way he prays for me. Yeah, I like the way he prays for me. Yeah, talking about praying for you, I think that's another thing that gives me joy. I think because I I feel like she has so much faith in my prayers than I do. Because oh, baby, I have this pain here. Just stomach. pray for me just because I know that when you pray for me, it's good. Hand, and I'm like, hand. okay. Ah. And then I just pray, and then the next morning she's okay. I See, like, let it not be like I'm exaggerating. Once only we then lay hand on you like this. That <laughs> thing, if you don't go, let me know what you Go lay hand the other As he laid his hand on my stomach, it went. Ah, she. Like I, I I don't know. I don't know, but then she has like like our pastor we always say we all have different levels of faith. And you cannot also judge people that use medicine and stuff and do all that, but then that's their level of faith. Yeah. Our own level of faith is that she believes that once I pray for her, she's fine, she's done. That's it's good. It's sorted. I believe in my husband die. <laughs> I can't even lie. I think it, it, it intrigues me every time 
because every time we go through that phase and she says oh pray for me just pray for me and i pray for her she just she feels better like instantly yep and sometimes i look at i look at my hand i'm like ah you say oh, what is Prophet Samson. <laughs> let me let me let me just apart from this topic oh do you know that this guy huh is in jail don't use to sleep his angel is walking but, too far. We all have our guardian. If I shut, if I, if you just, if I just say ah, only the, will I say you the craze? I'm not even joking with you. The next ten seconds, I will either hit my leg, or hit my hand on the door, or something must happen to me, or hit my eye. You will now say ah, it is my angel. They joke with you. <laughs> you and I is angel. <laughs> there was one day. Let me be give you this. There was one day he annoyed me. Annoyed me. Finish. And I, was, and I insulted him. After I insulted him, and I forgot myself. And I said, before you know now, you and your mumu angel go injure me. Just that small thing where I talk. As I then go, make I just go from my room, go back and go in myself. See, mom, I the way I eat my leg on the door. I can't even know how to cry. I say, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> just small comment. But, but baby, I think we're digressing. This, this is beside the point. Sorry. Oh, yeah, keep going next. Yeah, this is beside the point. No, but sorry. You're next. I've said my Oh, am I next? Yeah. Okay. I think the next thing I wanted to say was, so I'm not a materialistic person. Anybody that knows me knows I'm not a materialistic, ma ma <laughs> materialistic <laughs> person. I'm not a materialistic person, but only me knows how to make me happy through gifting. And the weird part about it is he doesn't buy me anything great. That makes me happy. I'm a very, I'm a very simple chap, you know. Yep. I don't. I'm not hard to please. The littlest of something as little as he bought me lollipop makes me so happy. Popsicles, yeah. So yeah, lollipop, popsicles. He can just randomly bring me like if I begged and begged and begged, maybe buy me biscuits. Now you say no, no, no. She may want to lose weight. No. Then he will just randomly say, okay, I'm going to the market, and then oh yeah, that's another thing. He goes to the market. I don't. He just randomly <laughs> <laughs> come back with like a wafer, chocolate wafer or something, or chocolate for me or something. So yeah, I think he's little gifting, just the smallest of things. I put a smile on my face. He knows I love chocolate. He can just come home with a you know, chocolate biscuit, chocolate wafer, or maybe he saw like a, what now? Like a sweater in somewhere where he just went to check for something and he was like oh this will look good on my baby and he would just buy it for me he bought one really nice sweater for me so yeah just you know little gifting not grand gifting it's not my birthday if you get what i mean it's like those random days when he just comes home with a gift it's nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what can i say I did try. Now the issue be this. Yeah, now go they swear. God, no, I beg. The, no, the problem is that you don't understand my level of intentionality about you, baby. I think that's another, you know, little point. Yeah. I think that's another thing to actually note. It's how intentional you are at making me happy and just keeping our marriage going. Yeah. And there was something Olu said before we got married. He said to me that relationships are about mutuality. Yeah. What are your intentions? How intentional are you? Because I said to him one day, I asked him, am I, am I a good wife to you? Am I making you happy? Yep. He said that I already make him happy. However, that I need to be intentional about trying to make him happy. He's intentional about wanting me to be happy. So I need to be more intentional about, you know, trying to make him happy. And it has to be mutual. We, one person cannot be putting in all the, all the effort. So no. yeah. No way. That's another thing. His intentionality blows my mind. Yep. Um, what can I say? Mm, as much as it sounds really yeah, as it sounds really cliche, yeah. So, like you said earlier, I cook during the week, yeah, and then she cook weekends. But there's something about every time she cooks for me that makes me really happy then. There's I don't know, there's just something about it. Uh, I don't know. It's just <sighs> it's the idea of being I don't know. Taking care of yeah, like someone's taking care of me or something, something, something along those lines. Like it just really makes me smile. What are you looking for? That one. The keeping things. Uh, it just really makes me happy, really, because I, like I said, I'm really, I'm really self-sufficient in a way. I, I take care of myself. I take care of her. I take care of the house. I clean. I do everything. Really decent, though. I'm not I, sure. I don't know. I pretty much. Sorry, I don't know. Seems, seems okay. okay. So I pretty much do many things around the house like 
So, I think the little times that she takes care of me really, really matters a lot to me. So, yeah. That's, That's good. It. So, I take care of you. Yeah? Okay. The few times you do. Oh. So, let me learn all these things. I did to my friends <laughs> Ah, uh, no, 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 no. You can't use... Oh, I don't this is why you let me do this topic. No, nah, I'm not a... I'm uh, not a... I'm not a... I'm not a it doesn't teacher. really matter because your pressure is what your pressure is already. Eh? Ah, wow. Your pressure can see change. People can see make amends. In what, two months? Oh, not a bad. You want to... You want to crash read, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, another thing I wanted to say that really makes me happy is our daily routines. So there was a the last there was a video we made and I was asking him his birthday video and I asked him in that video you know what's he scared that's going to change in our marriage when he turns forty and he mentioned that one of the things that he scared might change is our routine and our our lifestyle basically where we are now and I think that's one thing to really note because I really really love our routine it's just it's that thing where we already know what's going to happen how it's going to happen what you're supposed to be doing at each time and things like that so like when you wake up in the morning when you come up the pot when you wake up in the morning um the first thing we both say is good morning how are you Did you sleep well just checking and it's, it just feels and i'm telling you every morning for the last five years that we've been married every morning no missing it even when we're fighting even when we're fighting yeah Good morning, how are you? Just sleep well, check in. And then on our way to work. Yeah, sometimes I wish that conversation leads to something else, but they always, always stop me. So continue. Yeah. Yeah. On our way to work, you're saying. <laughs> on our way to work. On our way to work. There's always have a good day. I love you. And a kiss. If you not kiss me, the chat where you go see me. Did you kiss me before you left the house today? And she doesn't kiss me too, so <laughs> Did you kiss me before you left the house today? Yeah. If I can, I'll put a screenshot of one of the ones he has sent to me before. Did you kiss me today? So, it's every day. And it, is be, it has been like that for the last five years. Constant. Even beyond five years, when we're still dating, when we're, when we're living together, cohabiting, okay? And I think it just blows my mind. Even when he comes out from work, there's always a kiss. How was your day? You know? More interesting thing happened. More interesting thing happened. We talk about our day. And yeah. Our routines make me happy. Um, again, it's the intentionality of it. So, yeah. Yeah. I think we make really great lovers, companion, and <coughs> housemates. I like that. We're good housemates. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good one. Yeah, I like yeah. that. We're really good. And we're, we're best friends in every way you can think of. Olumide is my best friend. I can gossip with him. I play. If you see us playing rough, you will not believe that we're a married couple. <laughs> the rough play, they will soon arrest us in this, in this house. <laughs> the way we used to scream down the house when we are playing rough. Yeah. We play rough play. Rough play. I even bought. Let me show you people. But we've not launched it yet because it's still winter. But trust me, during summer, we are going to. <laughs> it's going to be good. Yep. Yes. <laughs> by then summer comes we are going to launch it yep so we play rough we play okay play with your spouse play so i think in the Be comments friend. you guys can tell us the little things yeah you know, so i think that's just the yeah. goal of this video please tell us what are the simple things that make you happy do yeah. you do things like us is there something different you do it doesn't have to be valentine's day it doesn't have yeah to be, exactly it doesn't have to be your birthday you don't have to wait yeah, exactly until a it's grand celebration exactly. to do something for your spouse to be intentional daily in dose of intentionality goes a long way trust me so that's yeah. why she's like this that's why i'm like this so yeah. a spoiled wife <laughs> <laughs> with pride and joy <laughs> ask around is i'm it, spoiled it's, it's shamelessness for me though see I'm sports, okay. I can stay a whole week, literally, a whole week and not do anything. It's not because I'm stressing my husband. It's not because I can. It's the way he loves me. And I appreciate him for it. I'm just very domesticated. So, and, um, she takes advantage of me. I do. 
That's it. I can't lie. I do. I do. <laughs> I do. And yeah. I take advantage of the fact that he really loves me because I'll now say, oh, but you love me now. Please now. Please, I'm so weak. <laughs> <laughs> and you fall for it. Ah, I'm the worst. It's not like I fall for it. I just do it because yeah. at the end of the day, it has to be done. And he loves me. Yeah. And I enjoy getting things done. So, yeah. So, Association of Only Days Wives. <laughs> you all know yourself. <laughs> I want to tell you that I'm the spoiled one. You are not. And I'm the one you Wow, get, Association of Only Days Wives. Is that, is, 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 that, is, that, is that like a committee now? Ah, you don't know. What for you really? What for? And then listen, you don't grow. It's okay. <laughs> Anyways, that's all we wanted to talk about today. Yep. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share, this subscribe. Where is the seed? The Indomie is overcooked. Oh. Wow. You see? <laughs> you see? What do you mean by you see? Don't ruin my name in the public. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Only one day. <there. laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Yeah. See you on the next one. I will not make promises to be so uh, exactly. consistent. We'll, we'll, yeah, yeah. We'll but we we'll love you. That. We'll try. Always. Yep. We love you. We love you. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Be intentional with your spouse, okay? Yep. Bye. Bye.